Facebook, in partnership with Watoto Watch Network, hosted the Facebook for Safe Internet Forum to demonstrate how the company and its family of apps are committed to online safety. The Facebook for Safe Internet Forum brought together young people, safety experts, influencers, and parents to discuss online child safety and explore ways to better understand the challenges and opportunities that children and young people face online. The forum follows this year's Safe Internet Day that aimed to unite people globally to inspire and raise awareness on online safety for children and young people under the theme Together for a Better Internet. Speaking at the forum, Facebook's head of public policy, Masin Degwa, said that every day millions of people across Africa use Facebook and Instagram to share content with their communities. Now, for Facebook, when we look at the issue of safety, we are looking at uh, certain um, key issues. One is um, we, we try to ensure that um, uh, in line with our company mission, which is to give people the power to build community and um, come strong, be, be as, to build strong communities as well. The part for them to build uh, communities and also for uh, people to come closer together, um, we recognize that the, the platform allows for people to be able to express themselves and have a voice. But at the same time, in having their voice, sometimes we have incidents where um, that may also uh, result in uh, safety concerns for others. And so the question every day is for us to balance uh, voice and safety. Now, the way we ensure safety on, on Facebook, or rather on the Facebook platforms, is one, to make sure that we have proper rules that tell you how to conduct yourself when you're online on our, on, on our platforms. We call them the community standards. Now, our community standards are like the rule book of how to behave with, with, when you're online. It, it looks at issues around um, what uh, constitutes, for example, um, a protected characteristics that should not be attacked. For example, when you're talking about hate speech, um, what are things that you should not say that could be regarded as hate speech when you're attacking, for example, a protected characteristic like gender, nationality, uh, things like that, and then maybe pairing it up with a call to action to attack somebody. Those kinds of things are addressed. At the same time, Watoto Watch Network Executive Director Lenian Karaoke said that with many young people using social media and being online daily at Watoto Watch Network, their focus is on using digital literacy education that focuses on encouraging the young people and their parents to emulate good online safety habits. Scared of their kids using social media, but there should be times that you. I will say that um, parents should not be scared of their kids using social media, but there should be times that you can actually interact with the kids. Sit with them, let them show you exactly what they post on social media, uh, have interactions to know exactly what is their everyday life. Um, there's some things they will be doing or there's some things they'll be sharing they will not want you to do, to, to actually uh, see. Um, but the thing is, there are very simple regulatory processes you can take. Uh, a typical example, if you were to, if you Google, Google Family Link, it's a simple program that can allow you to be able to watch uh, what your children go to, the links they go to before they actually get to bad, um, ba uh, bad websites. Um, by what I'm talking about sites that are very harmful to, to their mental being. Um, and also there are various simple tools you can use from, um, from mobile, anti anti mobile antiviruses or um, laptop antivirus like ESET where you can have parental control and set the programs that your kids can